Meghalaya BJP Vice President Bernard Marak will be re-arrested by the police on Wednesday. The Court of Tura Chief Judicial Magistrate has allowed the arrest of Bernard Marak in connection with the case related to his activities at the Meghalaya Chamber of Commerce. The Meghalaya BJP leader will be arrested by the police from the Tura District Jail. He will then be produced at the court again where the police will seek his custody. Moreover, the court has also denied bail to the Meghalaya BJP leader in the case related to running of prostitution racket at his farmhouse. Bernard Marak was booked under the Immoral Trafficking Act 1956, Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act 2012 and the Explosive Substances Act 1908. Two persons suspected to be involved in poaching and wildlife trade, especially rhino horns, have been arrested by the police in Bokakhat. The duo was arrested based on a specific input by the police from the Sipahigaon area. Based on the input, the police arrested Bhakt Bahadur Thapa from his house after they found a rhino horn during the search operation. After he was arrested, Thapa informed the police about another person involved with him, post which he was also arrested. He was identified as Budeshwa Chinte alias Budhai. He has also been accused of trading rhino horns. Among the arrested, Bahadur was known to be a poacher in the past and his current involvement is being determined by the police. IPFT General Secretary Aghori Debarma has alleged that the party's slogan of Tipra land was stolen by the Tipra to misguide the people. He further argued that the Greater Tipra Land slogan is inspired from the call of Greater Nagaland. It is justified because Nagaland exists and now the vision of Greater Tipra Land stands vindicated. If there is no Tipra Land, formation of Greater Tipra Land seems illogical, said Debarma. Debarma asserted that IPFT is strong enough to throw a challenge before any potent political force as they did not break the trust of the people. We have never tried to play with people's emotion. We stick to our demand of separate statehood with the six scheduled areas and we stand by it. We are in alliance with the BJP but that did not impact our movement. On August 23rd last, we held a sit-in demonstration in Delhi and submitted memorandums to the offices of Prime Minister and Home Minister demanding Tipralan, he said. The National Investigation Agency has filed charge sheet against as many as eight accused jihadis who were arrested in Assam. This charge sheet filed by the NIA is the first in connection with the arrests made by the police in Assam in recent times for alleged links with jihadi elements. Nearly 40 people have been arrested by the police in Assam from different parts of the state on charges of having links with Al-Qaeda, Indian subcontinent and Ansarullah Bangla team. Recently, Assam Chief Minister Himant Biswas Sarma advised Director General of Police Bhaskar Jyoti Mahanta to hand over the jihadi terror modules to NIA after initial investigations. Meanwhile, Assam DJP Bhaskar Jyoti Mahant has stated that some counter-radicalization measures have been initiated to tackle the growing network of jihadis in the state. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.